All right, so for today, we're gonna to be talking about the basic tools you need. And now obviously the most, the beginning one is you just need an iron and then you just need some solder. Now there's many, many, many other various tools that you will be using and that you need, but these are the basic ones to just start. You don't need a good iron. You don't need a good iron when you just begin. You just need any sort of iron. A pencil tip iron rated at 25 to 40 watts will be plenty and it'll probably last you about a good solid year before you'll need a new iron because you'll move on to more advanced things. So just start with any old little iron. Obviously a man's only as good as his tools, so that's why you'll need various screwdrivers to take things apart. You'll need various little wire clips and snips type things. And then you'll also ne eventually need some solder wick or desoldering braid. Now this is used to remove solder off of a circuit board where what you'll end up doing is you'll heat up the solder and then you'll use the solder wick and you'll heat that up through the iron and use that to remove the solder. Uh, also a little bit more advanced will be flux. When you're just beginning and you're just messing around trying it, you won't need flux, but if you're ever doing any work on any actual equipment, you will need flux. What it does is it creates a better bond between the solder and it allows the solder to flow easier. Then you also need wire because you'll be wiring circuits through, you know, wiring one thing to another, so you also need wire snippers. So, now it's grown the amount of stuff that you'll need. And a man's only as good as his tools. And then eventually you'll need something to help you desolder in addition to the wick. So you'll be using desoldering, like these little pumps, they're excellent. They have a shelf life, they wear out. So you see how it, and here, look at this one. <laughs> oh, this one's, you know, this this one's done. And it's been cleaned numerous, numerous times. You even see like the logo's like worn off off of it. This one's fresh. Um, so yeah, it's a lot of like, a lot of different tools that you'll need. Uh, here's something that you don't need. And that's a hot glue gun. You can just throw this in the trash. And then there's also all sorts of little things like little clips clamps that'll help you hold the things that you're soldering so you can clamp it up and then solder it from here so because if you're holding it it's going to get hot and you can't do that so there's many many different tools you'll also always need uh something to clean your tip as you're soldering like a little wet sponge or some steel wool and that'll clean your tip so Oh, well, and don't ever forget about 91% isopropyl alcohol. That's the most important tool. So you don't need all of this stuff right away to get started. You absolutely don't. You'll just need very basic, pretty much just an iron and some soldering. It all depends on what you're doing. Like if you just simply want to do some LED mods, you'll really just need this. It all varies and it all depends. So you gotta think about the job you'll be doing and you gotta think about what everything you'll need. And you kind of acquire all this stuff over like an extended period of time. Like as you need, it's like being a contractor. If you're, you know, if you're building houses and then you, you know, you have all the tools to build a house and then you have to, you know, build a foundation, you're gonna go and get all the tools to build that foundation. And now you have the tools to make foundations, now you can build houses and do the foundation. Ha, huh. something like that. And a very important one that you never wanna also, this is also what you will need too. That's a mask. You will need a mask in the beginning and always because it's not good to breathe in the fumes of solder and you'll also need you know, ventilation, either a fan or do it by a window. Uh, so there's numerous, numerous tools that you can use, but it all just starts with an iron and some solder. But it's also, depend like I said, it's depending on what you're doing. So like, let's say you wanted to, the, your first mod or your first whatever you wanted to do was to change this LED. You're gonna need a way to desolder this. 
So you're going to need a way to desolder it. And we'll cover desoldering in a whole nother episode. I just really want to go over all the different tools and their uses. But these are the main things. If you're working on, you know, if you want to work on Xbox 360s and PS3s, uh, you'll need thermal paste. Uh, so it all depends on your specific job and what you're doing. But the best thing for an iron, just get a cheap one in the beginning, like a $7 pencil tip iron. It's all you'll need, just a, just a cheap iron. Do not go and get a really good iron in the beginning. You don't need it and you won't need a good iron for at least like a year. I don't know, unless you do it a lot and you get really good really fast, then you'll need a better iron. But in the beginning, just a cheap old little pencil tip iron and you'll be able to use it for quite some time and be satisfied. You may need to get new tips for it because the tips will eventually go. Yeah, so those are some basic tools and their uses. I'm Paul with Retro Gaming Arts. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.